fish in this beautiful south side of the pond right here. Calabisi Island is off in the distance. Now let me show you what we come prepared to do. It's about 9, rather about 8.30 in the morning. High tide's at 12.41. We're going to fish the whole incoming tide. We've got some live bait with us. Here's my bait bucket here. We've got two dozen shrimp. If need be, we'll get more of the bait shop right up the street. We've got our codfish rod. We're going to test out this 7 foot 2 medium extra fast. I've got this with a snap swivel. I'm going to fish my artificial board with that. And I'm fishing with a Quantum Cabo 40, spooled with 30 pound braid, 30 pound lead, mono lead. And of course, tied in with a double uni knot. Now, here's one of my favorite setups for live bait. I've got a little split shot. 20 pound mono, 15 pound braid, dial with three BG3000. And my favorite rods are the Terramar series of Shimano. This one is a 7 foot 4, line weight is 6 to 15 pounds, so we're right there. Medium action, medium fast effect. Great for a real nice live, live drop of shrimp, another live bait, and a real soft tip to feel. Then, for another type of fishing, we're going to try all different ways to see where they are and what they'll attract. We've got a sliding float presentation. This one is a red bone rod. It is a 7 foot 6 medium action. And it's rated for 8 to 17 pound test. Again, Daiwa 30, BG 3500, 15 pounds of braid, 20 pound leader. Circle hook, little split shot on there, and a sliding float. If you guys can see this, this little our bobber stopper, they adjust. You can slide them up. They will stop this little ball on the on the float from letting the bait sink any lower. We're gonna put a live shrimp on this, a live crab, whatever we get, or a live pin float. With the weight, that will bring it right down to the desired depth. So these are the three tactics we're going to use this morning. I don't know what's going to hit, what's going to work, but we're going to give it a shout. And let me tell you, when you're in the sun, I don't care what I look like. A base has to be protected. But these are the coolest things. These are 12 bucks at the base store. They cover my neck and top of my shoulders. My neck especially. My face is great. I treated it with sunblock. UV protected shirt that the wind blows through them, they dry, they, they dry real quick, get the right gear. I've got my good uh, waders on, i got the frog cog slide on boots, and I'm ready to go. It's a little warm standing here talking to you, but I can't wait, we're going to dive in, and we'll get it on film, and I hope you guys enjoy this. So hopefully, we're going to catch more than just that, but time will tell. See you on the water. So we're going to fish the whole incoming tide and see how effective this is. We will hook under that hard horn and his head. It's a good way to hold them on. And let's see if hooking it this way will make a difference today. Something took that, and that was a clean bite. I didn't even feel it. Time to rebate. I think we found a good depth to work with, five foot down, four to five feet down. Between these three buoys that you guys see, there is a, a nice big depression. Water looks like glass. Just beautiful this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Got him. All right, guys. We got a little one here. Yeah. He just took it straight down. Let's see what we have. Just something small I could tell. But it's a fish. And that's what we're here for, guys, is to catch fish. Let's see what we got. 
What did we get? Oh my goodness, a catfish. Can you guys believe it? Another catfish. We're just gonna grab that hook and let this guy go. We don't even want any part of this guy. Let him go. There you go, clean release. I believe we got us, oh yeah, we got a hit. Look at that, took it right down. Didn't waste time. Woo, we got a little more, a little more shoulders. Let's see what we got. Uh, nothing big. Little guys. But let's see what we were managed to pull out of here today. Oh, what do we got? Don't tell me another one. Yep. Another catfish. Eh, a little bit bigger. It must be his older brother. You believe this, guys? Look at this. Another one. Well, we did say we came out here for fish. And that we are getting. Yep, got him loose. I don't even want to touch him. That cork is being attacked. That shrimp is under attack. We've got today. Well, what do you think, guys? I'll give you another guess. And the shrimp is still on. How about that? How about that? We're going to see if we can go three for three catching another fish. Hopefully not a catfish. Ooh, feist. Well, so much for that. There we go. Let himself go. Give it a chance for that shrimp to, the weight to pull it down. Pop it every now and then. Oh yeah, she's already getting tapped. Fish on. Oh yeah, this is non-stop. Non-stop catfish is what it is. All right. Nobody wants to catch catfish, but on days that are lean, a fish is a fish. All right, let's see what we got, guys. Yes, what do you think, guys? Another one. And the shrimp is still alive. So let's see if we can salvage the shrimp. I don't know. There we go. I want to get the hook. I want to get him off the hook. There we go. I do not want to get pricked again. All right, this shrimp got a beating. So now we'll hook him again to good cartilage. Yep, we're going to be able to do this a second time. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, we got one, guys. Finally got a taker. Fish on. I guess he couldn't resist that slurpy shrimp. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, what do you know? The elusive catfish. Here we go, guys. Say hello to Mr. C. Yep. Yeah. We'll try to get him off in one piece. Yep. Yeah. He'll let him off in just a second. Come on. There we go. Got him off. Oh, yeah. They're all over it now. I can feel it. Come on. Oh, yeah. They're banging it. Got him. Look at this, guys. Nice. Are you serious? A pinfish. Well, that was not the targeted species, but he's crapping and everything. He's scared. We're letting him go. He sticks his dorsal fin out to protect himself. They're very sharp. 
Now we got to get this hook out. There you go. I'm just letting it lay there and popping it along. See if something will get it. Here we go. We've got, yep, something's on. There we go. Mackerel. Look at this, guys. We've got some action here. Oh, yeah. What do we got? Please let it not be a catfish. What? Do, oh, beautiful. I think we got a red, guys. Holy mackerel. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I think this, yep. Gorgeous redfish. Check this out, guys. Is this not what you come here for? Holy mackerel. Big, gorgeous redfish. Look at that. Booyah. This is what we're here for. Look at the hook placement, guys, right in the corner of the mouth. He said it. Is this not beautiful? Oh, we're going to put him back in the water. And let me get this hook out. Oh, yeah, he's easy to get out. Yeah, they've got some tough mouths. Well, let's use my pliers so I can get it out right away. Come on. Is this not beautiful, guys? Look at that beautiful redfish. Yes. Let's get him in the water. And there he goes. Free lining seemed to work. Just a little split shot. A one-odd hook. And that was every bit of an eight. That was a legal. That was a legal redfish. But they're on moratorium now per the fishing game due to red tide. And what can you do? There's a smaller one, but it's a fish. Let's see what we got. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh no, wait a minute. Hey, look at this guys. A little, what is it? A little baby red. Oh, uh, is this not awesome? Let me get this guy. Oh. Is this not beautiful? Look at him. Only a mother would love a mouth like that. See that in the corner of the mouth, guys? Just like I told you. Yeah, oh, they're beautiful. All right, calm down. I'm trying to help you. Let's see if I can get it out with my hand. There you go. Second redfish. Here we go. He had no problem getting back in there. So the redfish are in here. That's two already. That's beautiful. Good morning. Boy, we are doing good this morning. And sh oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got another one. Nice. Oh, maybe it's another good redfish. I don't know. Let's see what we have. Always keep tension. Now, there's a little boy. Up, oh, a little baby. That uh, looks like a... Might be a baby grouper. Or sea bass. More like a sea bass. Isn't that something, guys? Look at this guy. That is a little baby sea bass. Oh, yeah. Well, we just got some more bait. Look at all those delicious shrimp. Oh, yeah. Got another three dozen. Uh, and uh, looks like we've got enough supply to last us all the way through high tide into a couple of hours past. As soon as it hits the bottom, there they go. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, got him. Got him. This is a good one. Oh, yeah. This is what we want. 
Oh yes, let's get back here. We've got ourselves on a monster here. Holy mackerel. Oh yeah, listen to that drag screen, baby. Oh yeah, baby. I wanna see what this is. Oh, oh another beautiful red fish. You gotta be kidding me. Oh yeah. Oh, is this not gorgeous? Look at this. Holy mackerel. Look at the size of this. This is unbelievable. Look. Two of these in one day. Look at this. This is awesome. Awesome redfish. Well, we're going to measure him real quick. All right, let's measure him real quick. Holy mackerel. What is that mark? This guy is right at 19 and a half inches. Is he not beautiful? Look at that. What I tell you, right in the corner of the mouth, guys. Beautiful redfish. Third redfish in one day. Can you believe it? Come on. Come on, I think something's got it now. Yeah, something small. All right, what do we got here? There actually are trout here. Well, look at that. Red-handed. A little speckled trout. Check it out. Haven't seen these guys in a while. Look at them with the trout. Hey, the shrimp hanging out of his mouth. Is that not awesome? Uh, we're going to let this little guy go. It's good to have to catch a little speckled trout. It's good. Don't want to handle them any more than I need to because they've got that slime on their body. That's their protective coat. There we go. Oh, wow. My goodness. Good. Got something again. Something small. Not Mr. Red. I don't believe it's Mr. Red. Oh, it's just a bigger bigger little dink. Well, calm down. Yeah, he's in the snapper nasty teeth too. Yeah, there goes that porpoise out there again. Thank goodness he's staying out by the third buoy. I don't need him near me. All the fish scatter. Got him. Got something better. Nice. Not. Got ourselves a fish. I don't think it's a big one, but what is this guy? Let's see. Oh my goodness, another speckled trout. How nice. All I need is a snook. Well, guys, look at that speckled trout. Isn't that awesome? Right in the corner of the mouth. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? See how it hooks it? In the corner of the mouth. They do all the work for themselves. The fish hook themselves. Is he not beautiful? Look at that. Love it. Let's get him in the water. Oh, yeah. And get that slime off of him. All these little guys are just tearing it up. All right, we've got a little one now. There's another one, guy. Ooh, a little more shoulders. It's probably a pinfish. Yep, look at this thing. Ounce for ounce. It ain't pound for pound here. But ounce for ounce, these guys are feisty. Believable. Calm down. That's what you got to do. Right in the corner of the mouth, even on these little critters. Cute little thing, huh? That's a pinfish. All right, got it. Yep. Yep. The little guys are still here. They just hook themselves. Dude. That's how a circle hook works. Well, not like that. 
All right, come on. Let's get it out. There we go. Look at the choppers on this guy. <laughs> Only a mother would love that mouth. <laughs> well, guys, we had a great time today. I'm protected. My head didn't burn up. I feel cool and well prepared. Did you see that fish we caught? Beautiful redfish. Two gorgeous fish, 19 and almost 20 inches long. Beautiful speckled trout, little gag grouper. Uh, we caught pinfish, of course, and tons of catfish. Thought the day was going south, but I just had to be persevere. Everything is in presentation, so it has been awesome. It was a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So from here, from Florida, to you guys, wherever you are in the world, if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. There's great videos coming. This will be posted today, so be looking for it. Redfish from the Gulf. And until I see you guys again, God bless.